At approximately 10 o'clock this morning, the Plymouth Police Department received several calls reporting an active shooting situation at Algonquin Terrace off of Route 44. Upon arrival, officers, uh, responding officers observed subjects fleeing and running towards a complex Mark Drive condominium complex in the area. At least two subjects were seen entering one of the buildings. Several apartments were vacated as the Metro SWAT team was also requested for assistance. These subjects eventually came out of the building. One of these subjects was placed into custody as he was identified as being involved in the shooting. Another subject was seen leaving the Walgreens Pharmacy adjacent to Algonquin Terrace. He had a handgun along with a piece of clothing in that pharmacy. As the investigation continued and all evidence was compiled, it became apparent that the subject in custody was in fact at the shooting, however not actually involved in firing a weapon. He was released after being interviewed by detectives. The investigation suggests that this altercation was between two groups of individuals and was not a random act. All buildings as well as apartments involved were searched and cleared by SWAT team operators. We're currently following several leads in order to identify these, those involved. This remains an open and active investigation, and we would ask anyone with information regarding the identity of these subjects to call the Plymouth Police, the Police Department Detective Division at 508-830-4218, extension 364. So there's nobody in custody, and how many are you searching for? We know that the callers stated several people involved, somewhere up to possibly eight. We've we believe we have the identity of two people that we're following right now uh, as leads. So there's several people that we have not identified yet. Any idea if this is not random, why these two, there were two groups of individuals targeting each other? It appears that there were two groups of individuals, and we do not have any idea what the motive is at this point. Can we talk about the uh, response, uh, you know, obviously with the tactical uh, Metro squad one? Sure, and this was a complex type of a situation because it was several different locations. Started out at Algonquin, obviously, uh, and then it moved over to the complex across the street. Uh, the pharmacy was involved, and we had people scattered in different directions. So we requested the assistance once we knew we had subjects in a building uh, and that they had not, uh, weren't cooperating originally to come out. So we, we spent some time clearing people out of those buildings for their safety that weren't involved, and then eventually got the subjects that we thought were involved out of the building. Talk about the public Where exactly safety. were those shots fired? Were they in a unit or the condominium at large? A uh, parking lot area of the condominium. Can you talk about the public safety you concern you because it was a massive response. I mean, you had tactical units coming in from everywhere. I mean, the concern was if they could just fire at random someplace, they could boot against someplace else. Yeah, I mean, the most difficult piece uh, when you bring in other uh, other uh, assistance from whether a SWAT team or, or just uh, other departments is these are people that are at large. Uh, it's a lot better and safer situation when they're in a building and we have this building secured and we don't really know uh, and we know where they are. In this case, it's very dangerous because as operators are pulling up, uh, the public and uh, uh, other departments that are assisting us, they're at, ser at serious risk. What's the public safety threat at this point? We believe that since it was between two groups that it's not a random act. So we believe that uh, with as much confidence as we can, we don't think there's any uh, danger to the public in the area. Are you still actively searching out in any particular areas? Do you have any leads on any areas? We're following leads as far as identity and trying to locate people that way. Uh, we're not actually searching that area anymore. But the leads we have, and uh, uh, we're identifying where those people are frequent and trying to locate them that What's way. What's your advice for residents who may be concerned? Well, uh, it's concerning to all of us. Uh, we did do a uh, one-mile call out to tell people to stay in place, be vigilant, let us know if you see anything. When you do that, you get a lot of calls, so obviously our leads are going uh, to rise. Um, uh, just that uh, stay in place during the situation. At this point, we feel like that we've, we've done all we can to secure it, so um, it's definitely a, a difficult situation. Everybody who was evacuated is now allowed to go back into their home? Yes. There was, that was located in Algonquin Terrace, and um, we have that vehicle in custody right now. Uh, someone involved. That had, uh, the car towed with Ontario plates, that's the one you're referring to, yes. and somebody involved? To keep the vehicle, we believe the vehicle was involved in some way. So. Was anyone injured in the shooting? Not that we know of right now, no. no Any idea how there. many shots were fired? Not exactly, several though. How, several. Did, you, how did you find out? directly in the shooting? Well, I would just say through the investigation as everything came together. Some of it was videotape uh, that we received, so uh, once we compiled everything, it was clear he was there, but not involved where we could charge him with anything.